Good morning, Good morning Mustangs. Mustangs. Today is Friday, April 20th. I'm your host, Elise. And I'm your host, Anthony. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now say the Mustang Pledge. Today, Today, I will do my best to be the best. I will listen. I will follow directions. I will be honest. I will respect the rights of others. I can learn. I will learn. I know it's all up to me. Now for a moment of silence. Please be seated. Lunch today is pepperoni pizza or grilled cheese, tossed salad or vegetable juice, mixed fruit or peach cup, and delicious cold milk. And now we have a few announcements. This morning, Mill will have a PTA volunteer breakfast from 7.45 to 9 a.m. This breakfast for any parents, grandparents, and many others who have helped out at Millwood by volunteering their time. This afternoon at 1.30, we will be having an Earth Day parade outside on the soccer field. Please wait to be called before you head outside. Tomorrow, there will be an Earth Day display at Swan Lake from 8 a.m. to noon. The event will include live music, green activities for kids, food, and many Earth-friendly booths. Be sure to stop by the Palmetto Optimist Club booth at Swan Lake between 10 and 2 to, re to receive a free book. On Monday, we will be having our classroom spelling bees. Practice hard over the weekend so you can do your best. On Tuesday, there will be a PTA meeting at 6 p.m. The Millwood Chorus will be performing their spring concert. Please make plans to attend. And now for a few words from Dr. Leach. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning, Elise. And we have a special guest, Mrs. Crop. We she has um, terrific kids for this week, so I'm going to turn it over to our guest, Mrs. Crop, so I can hear these terrific kids we have for this week. Good morning, Ms. Crop. Good morning. Thank you, guys, for having me on the show. Anthony and Elise, I just want to tell you what a great job y'all are doing yes, as our yeah. hosts. They are excellent. Um, we do have a few terrific kids for the week. Uh, we have Miley Cockerell, Taryn Catlett, Mariah Mickens, Amaya Bell Sanders, Victoria Randolph, Anthony Spears, Sid Patel, Braylon Corsi, Kingston Green, Sophia Morales, Owen Barkley and William Crofton. Congratulations to these terrific kids. And if you didn't get your name called this this time, work hard next week to see if you can be a terrific kid. And I will meet you guys in the cafeteria in about 10 minutes so you can get your um, certificates. Okay, thank you. And again, um, we want to see more terrific kids for, for next week, particularly as we enter the end of this school year. We have one birthday today, and that is Emily White in Ms. Williams class. So when you see Emily, please make sure to tell her happy birthday. And our words for wisdom today is for the girls. So listen up, girls. This one's for you. Former First Lady Barbara Bush is well known for her sense of humor. She once addressed the all-female graduating class at Wesley College with these words. Who knows, somewhere out in this audience may be someone who will one day follow in my footsteps and preside over the White House as the president's spouse, and I wish him well. Look around, girls. Maybe you're sitting next to a future female president. With something to think about, this is Dr. Leach. Make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours. Now for the Mustangs for this week. Boone Evans and Mrs. Coker's class for being a good role model. First grade, oops, I guess I'll use this one. I can't because it doesn't have a last name on it and it's one of Mrs. Walter's students. So you can make sure students to put your first and last name on the forms. We have Jaden Bells and Mrs. Butner's class for shining in the hallway, which is good. Second grade, we have Um, so there's Anthony and Mrs. Harker's class for helping others. For third grade, third grade is overflowing. Um, 
uh, William Crofton in Mrs. Huggins' class, given by Mrs. Burns for good behavior. Fourth grade. Um, Kaysen Pritchard in Mrs. Burgess' class, given by Mrs. Burgess for being the Kahoot winner. And for fifth grade, we have Aaliyah Wilson in Mrs. Bond's class, given by Mrs. Sims for helping others and for um, reading to the to the class. So congratulations to the students. This is Friday, but we still have a lot to learn today. So pay attention and remember our Mustang Pledge. Now back to our host and co-host, Elise and Anthony. Don't, Don't forget, forget attendance, academics, and behavior. Bye, Mustangs.